Welcome! This tutorial is going to be about setting up tables. I've gathered a few examples of how you could use tables. Things that have rows and columns, or graphs. You can see some examples like this, with uh, shading of alternate shadings. Uh, you can have colors and even little graphics in. So, I'll show you how we set something like that up. First, you'd be in your text tool. Drag out a frame approximately the size you'd like your table to be. Put the cursor inside. Go up to Table, Insert Table. Then it's going to ask how many rows and columns. All tables are based on rows and columns. So I'll say 4 and 4. And you can put headers and footers into the table. And you can even do some styling. We won't get into that right now. So click OK. Brings you in with a basic table. 4 rows, 4 columns. Now part of the process will be selecting things that you want to affect and format. When you get near the edge, these little arrows show up. If I go right up here in the upper left corner, and it's on an angle, it means select all in that table. If I go here, it's just select columns. If I go here, it's select rows. Now the other thing you do is you might want to modify to add rows or columns. So you go up here to your table menu, and then there's insert. I can insert a row, and then of course it asks, do you want to be above or below what you have now? So there's another row. I could go here and say table, insert a column. And then it says, do you want it left to the right of the one you're selected? And it can add columns. Now, tables are contained within a text cell, a text box. Now, you see the table can go outside of the text box, uh, but usually I like to try to keep the text box kind of organized to my table. And the table itself, if you put the cursor here, is basically one big text character. Now, the other thing is, say you want to select individual cells. Put the cursor in, and you drag until that cell is selected. So, join me for part two, and we'll dive a little deeper on formatting.